out from the depths of the Dan H. Storage Facility emerges a new Project Dan H. Project Jeep. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. I'm here with a new project vehicle. This XJ, it's a 2001 base model sport. Nothing too special. It's got 220,000 miles, I think, if I remember correctly. And I call it the Toad. Pleased to meet you. I'm Toad. Why do I call it the Toad? Because when we picked it up, it had many Toads hiding in it, so I'm gonna name it the Toad. Uh, it looks pretty straight. It's got a couple dings over here, a little front end impact. So we're gonna have to address this, but uh, yeah, I think this is gonna be a great little project car. Get this thing uh, lifted a little bit. We'll clean up all the, the damage, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a nice, nice vehicle. So yeah, let's take a look at the Toad. All right, so we got ourselves a Toad, a Toad XJ. It is a 2001 Jeep Cherokee Sport. It's got a very base trim package. It's got the uh, <laughs> budget steely wheels. Those are gross. Uh, let's see, we got a little bit of rust in the tailgate. No big deal, I'll sand that down. We paint it, we got a little ding in the rear bumper. Not a big deal at all. We got a bashed up rear bumper end. Looks like somebody squeezed by too tight, peeled it away, cracked it, no problem. I got extra pieces for that. What else? Uh, side panels are pretty good on the passenger side. Looking real good. We got a ding over here on the fender and it creased the paint. Uh, maybe I'll change this fender one day, but for now I'll leave it. But the biggest problem right here is the front end. Front bumper, I'm not going to be able to salvage the front bumper. That's a goner. Uh, we're also going to need, oh, actually these lenses are good. Headlight is, oh, no, headlight's gone. I'll put aftermarket headlights in because factory XJ headlights are the worst. Uh, the grill is intact, surprisingly. Um, Header panel, I'm going to rebuild with some fiberglass. I drop like nuts or bolts behind this channel and I usually fiberglass it and then I bond to the front, make that as good as new. I've done that many times. Uh, we're gonna have to get some Mopar matching. What is this? This is sand stone, no, Silverstone. Silverstone metallic paint. Uh, here we go. Gonna have to replace this guy. Uh, I have all these parts, so it's cool. The front bumper end on the driver's side is uh, a little mashed up, so I'll replace that too. That's missing the lower valance, and of course the whole bumper end over here. But I think that is the worst of it. Driver's side is clean. A couple dings, couple dents, but no big deal. And the roof, there is no big damage on the roof. And the best part about this sucker is there's no rot. No rot anywhere, which is amazing on a New York Jeep. A little rust, I'll clean that up, but no rot. And uh, that is huge up here in the Northeast, especially where this thing spent its whole life on Long Island. It had the salt, it had the snow, it had all the bad but uh, it's pretty solid. So, let's take a look inside. We'll start with the trunk. In the trunk, we have some fluid. This could be a telltale sign. Uh, maybe it's leaking trans fluid, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe it's leaking power steering fluid, I don't know. But we do have a power steering hose, so I'm guessing the previous owner was going to attempt a hose change. Uh, what else do we have? Also came with... What is this guy? Also came with a blower motor resistor. So 
So I'm guessing we have a power steering problem and a blower motor problem. A lot of the times uh, the resistors go, they only work on high or they go from lower to high, you know, medium, whatever. Um, we'll, uh, we'll address that. Uh, some coolant, so maybe there's a coolant link, either that or the guy was very prepared. Uh, we don't have a spare tire. Uh, we have some subs. We have a sub. It's not plugged in, so uh, who knows why that is there. But that's what we got going on in the trunk. And of course, we got lift gate struts that work. And uh, the latch works, so that's cool. <laughs> that's a win right there. Da -da -da -da. We'll go over to the rear. We got, uh, <laughs> we got, we got all three windows open uh, not this one so we might have a window motor issue either a window motor or the window controls but usually the window motor goes the control breaks and it doesn't allow the other windows to go down uh, uh, this guy's got floor mats in here so that's cool and it's pretty clean in here so far everything Seems in order. Oh, yep. Sticky latch. Yep. It's typical. Oh, come on. Let's get this down. What is this? Amateur hour? There we go. So, not too abused back here. I like it. I'm moving into the front. We have a seat that's in pretty darn good shape for 200 something thousand. Ah, well, never mind. That's got the rips. Usually they rip in here. It's pretty rare for it to rip up here. Moving on to the passenger side. This is my jump pack. <laughs> That's a telltale sign. Uh, the battery is shot, so I needed that to do the intro. Uh, a little, little dirty up here, no biggie. No rips, so that's huge. Better than the front seat. Uh, center console's not full of cigarettes and grossness. Ooh, we got a whole buck here. The whole buck? Jackpot. How do you manage a buck? Hey, we got the registration. Uh, this reg expires in 2021. So the reg expired, uh, geez, three years ago. That means it was last good to go on the road uh, five years ago. So we know we got at least uh, five years of decent history. Five years ago, it was running and driving. It runs and drives now, so uh, I mean, it's nothing I can't fix on an XJ, but this is looking good. Uh, let's see, glove box, look for clues. What is this? <laughs> A dog pound, all right. That's great, we got some, uh, some death row records, some gangster rap, West Coast. Nice, nice. Maybe I'll bust out my Tupac CDs. And uh, yeah, so okay, here we go. No rot here. A little bit of a little bit of rust, but no rot. Again, a little bit of rust, but no rot. So that's great. Oops, spider just got me. So yeah, pretty good, Toad. Pretty good. I'm excited for this one. Let's check out the dashboard. All right. So, we don't have fog lights on this bad boy, but it uh, doesn't mean we can't add them. I like to do factory fog additions. I like to get the three-hole switch with the factory fog light, and we'll just wire it up ourselves. Everything looks clean in this dash. Ugh. We got our tilt steering, and we got a key. Where's the key? Key's in the ignition. Let's see what happens when we start it. It probably won't because battery shot. Yep, bad battery. Batteries. But if we crank it on, we can see there's 227,000 miles, almost 228. And this is concerning because we have uh, we have it stuck in part time, and ba da ba, it's uh, all the way down. So we know the selector works. Cause watch, boom, one up and it moves into full time. So maybe the linkage is jacked up. Uh, yeah, we'll take a look at that. All right, going underneath the toad, we have the driver's floor pan, 
and it is not rotten so that is a huge win uh, solid under there again no rust all down this frame it's looking really nice unibody frame rails uh, rust free which is great for a New York Jeep pretty good but oh right here here look at this uh, we are missing a <laughs> front drive shaft right here is the transfer case and uh, no drive shaft so I was thinking since it's stuck in four part time that uh, we might have a transfer case issue this could confirm it but I'm wondering maybe it's the linkage or maybe there's a bad front end I don't know since the front end is disconnected I think it might be a transfer case problem well, let me get under here better all right here is the transfer case linkage now this I don't know if this is all the way uh, down into the two-wheel drive spot this little nut you could loosen this and this piece slides on this arm if this arm is all the way down but the transfer case is not engaged in two-wheel drive this might have to uh, slide back onto this and get reattached so hopefully that's the problem maybe the person the previous owner detached the drive shaft because it wouldn't go back down and two-wheel drive they didn't notice to get this linkage corrected maybe that's it at first i thought somebody might have replaced that shifter indicator with one that was from maybe a 231 but right here on the transfer case 242 it's uh it's definitely what it should be the linkage is probably just out of alignment so i'm gonna try to fix that linkage i'll put in a new drive shaft i'll see if i have one in stock Hopefully the front gears aren't all ground up and smashed up. Either way, I have a new front end for it, but uh, hopefully it's not that bad. Also, we have uh, <laughs> rotten exhaust. That was the reason for it being so loud. The stupid shroud is just terrible. Jingles and jangles. Maybe I'll put a flow master on. I have a flow master laying around. <laughs> Let's see up in here. We have up top, we have our, what are they called, the, uh, the mounts. We got the shock mounts, and this looks pretty good. Looks like it's actually covered in rear diff fluid. We probably have a pinion seal leak, and that slings up the diff fluid up in there, which isn't bad at all because it preserves the shock mount. So it got, definitely got some surface yuckies, but uh, it, it's pretty solid. It's pretty good down here. Uh, a couple things to clean up and paint, but this is a pretty solid, uh, virtually rust-free Jeep, especially for its age and in the Northeast. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Let's pop the hood. Here we go under the Toad's hood, standard stock four liter. Everything looks original, which is great. I love an original 4.0. Uh, right off the bat, we got a busted ground. So uh, we'll see if we can reattach that here. The nut is on it, so that's good. We'll just take out the battery, see if we can get a charge on this thing. I'll fix that ground. Uh, let's see in here. Yeah, we got the absence of fog light relays, but no ABS, so I bet this sucker has a Chrysler uh, 8.25 rear which is a great XJ rear, better than a Dana 35. Those come with ABS. I'm not seeing any blown fuses right off the bat. So that is cool. No signs of electrical damage. And yeah, everything is looking original. Original factory hose clamps. Uh, looks like we might've had O2 sensor work because this kind of looks a little sloppy. Uh, this looks a little, uh, I don't know, not factory. Looks like an aftermarket sleeve for these wires. I wonder if we had a O2 sensor check engine light. And da -da -da -da. no rot too bad. The uh, fuel rail looks a little crappy. This is the biggest spot to worry about where it attaches to the fuel line. That could break sometimes if this is brittle. But uh, everything else looks pretty good comes with a nice little uh oh look it's still moist we got a, a funnel for fluids hey 
and that's that's great and we got a nice clean well it's not clean it's actually pretty filthy but we got a, a nice factory original uh, unmolested engine bay and we even got a hood light that's dead I'll fix that there we go that's looking good under the hood let's give it a start got my jump pack on keys in the ignition and contact all right we are on listen to that baby purr nice and smooth not bad for 230,000 miles no lifter ticks no knocking no nothing this is why we've taken the chance with the toad because the engine is solid ah definitely have an exhaust leak and it looks like we got some other kind of leak I wonder if that's the power steering let's take a look yeah I would say that's power steering hard to see where it's coming from now I'll have to dig in there in a little bit. We'll get to the bottom of it. Let's go back inside. Oh, all right. Well, oh, there we go. Blower motor resistor. Because it only works on high. <laughs> Classic. Wonder if we have AC. Ugh. I'm gonna sneeze. Ugh. All this junk in my face. Well, we don't have AC. Look what else we don't have. <laughs> we don't have a headliner. Look at this handprint. Gee whiz. Oh, headliners are gross. But luckily, I do have a completed headliner in stock with fabric that might match this vehicle very well. So there we go. Ah, now we got that check engine light on. So let me plug in uh, a scanner and see what comes up. All right, so I just plugged this bad boy into my phone. It read the codes. It told me that I had a powertrain issue, that it was running lean. Now that's uh, peculiar. For an XJ, I wonder if it has something to do with that weird O2 sensor that I saw up in there with that red wire. Maybe that's it. But uh, I cleared the codes, and uh, maybe we'll let this thing run a little more. I can't start it now because the <laughs> battery is so bad it died again. Let's see. Oh, sorry for the view. Yep, dead battery. But it had enough juice. I was able to close the windows. So, yeah, that's it. Um, so we probably have an O2 sensor thing going on. We definitely have a leak coming from the power steering pump. It's probably the hose, hence that package in the trunk. And uh, well, we got, uh, let's see what I got. I already picked out, I already picked out the trim. We got the bumper ends. These are painted bumper ends. So we will finish this sucker uh, instead of the uh, what do you call it instead of the sport style that has the faded black stuff we'll do painted to match bumper ends with this stuff we'll get some paint we'll fix a header panel we'll paint to match the bumper ends we'll make it limited style and it's going to come out really good so uh yeah excited to start the toad we already have wheels lined up for it they're gonna get new tires and a cleaning maybe a little painting too so yeah Good stuff. You ready, Toad? You ready, YouTube? Another XJ build coming at you. All right, guys, there we have it. The start of another XJ restoration project. If you want to see the last one we did, go check out Project, what is it, Rec J? <laughs> the Resurrect J. Uh, we got another one coming at you. So, yeah, uh, 
Gonna get this thing going this week, gonna tinker with it. Also, where is the commander? I had a whole interior swap just completed on YouTube. Uh, still editing, it's gonna take a while because it's such a long process, so stay tuned for the commander. Uh, good, I'm glad it's kinda blocked by the shrubs because I'll, I'll give a good walk around when it's done. So, commander video coming soon. Uh, Rec J, no, Toad. Pleased to meet ya, I'm Toad. Toad XJ coming up and uh, yeah guys stay tuned and uh, thank you for watching remember to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next project peace